the THN was trying to do tonight was really bring all our partnerships and our national peak bodies together to talk about youth mental health um, and most importantly to get our young people to talk about their lived experience and what youth mental health looks like and what it feels like you know and how they go about accessing services. So we know that um, mental illness and suicide are both issues of major concern to the young people across our region and across regions all across Australia and so it's really important that we come together as a community and as a diverse service system. Tonight we've had a, a fantastic experience with a, an amazing panel of, of people, experts and young people uh, talking about youth mental health with a, a huge audience actually, um, a huge number of people from Newcastle and the Hunter Valley, uh, all concerned about the mental health of young people and I suppose we're on a journey here. We, we've, um, we've, we've realised finally as a, as a society that mental health needs of young people are a, a really high priority and we've started to build approaches and systems of care that are really starting to uh, be trusted by them and, and uh, delivering results and uh, we've got to build on, on that, those foundations now to, to make sure that all young people um, get the care that they need. Tonight was an amazing outcome. There are so many people. I got to meet a lot of people. Um, I learned a lot more about mental health um, forums and what they talk about, um, what mental health professionals are really trying to do and trying to help us out as young people and just seeing how much they value our information. Often what happens in our very busy lives is that we can start commenting, commentating on where the health system needs to improve or where youth mental health services need to improve and what we can celebrate that's working really well. Um, but actually to hear the voices of young people and the experiences, it actually thinks, okay, there's still more to be done, as we know, um, but by, by hearing the stories and experiences, that's what makes it um, you know, all the worthwhile for these events. One of the main things that I think is really important for young people and their families to recognise is that uh, self-care doesn't have to be something new, it doesn't have to be something that's brought in. Uh, we're usually doing things day to day that are going to count as self-care and it's about helping young people to find things that they like to do and things that they're already doing and just encouraging them to continue doing those, those great things and really supporting them to be looking after themselves in that way. Newcastle is one of the first trial sites for Lifespan which is an all of service system, all of community response to suicide prevention and we need to make sure as part of that response of our work with schools, our work with the service providers and building up the capacity of our community to have conversations about suicide that we also think about our young people and how we engage our young people. The main theme that really came out for me was how these big organisations, Beyond Blue, Headspace and others, are working with the local initiatives as well. So we could see, for example, in the area of schools, that there were some fantastic local projects. Similarly, in the area of services, we heard about some of the local headspace services. And again, Beyond Blue is really proud to support some of the new access services which supplement that. One thing we know is that it actually can be really difficult for somebody to ask for help. And so what we really want to create across our communities are people who offer help to others. With the support of the um, PHN, we can give free training to our community, QPR online. It's going to take you less than an hour and it's free. We want as many people in our community to do that program as possible. We've got to keep investing, keep building, keep um, assembling the workforces and integrating them together and the, the primary health network here are doing a good job in integrating care, that's what PHN should be doing, not, not fragmenting care and so we've got to build on these foundations. M mental health isn't a terrible thing, it doesn't need to be um, and that there are services out there who really care about you and what you're going through.